Hey guys, what's going on? Nivens here. It's time for your weekly rock windup because it is Fookin' Friday. And I might be the guy that wears the shirt of the band I'm going to see tonight in concert. You know why? I'll be that guy. You know why? Because the people that give you shit about not wearing the shirt of the band you're going to go see in concert are the same guys that wear the shirt, the hat, the underwear, the pants, and the socks of the sports team they're rooting for. So, suck it. Anyway. Uh, let's move forward. If you remember last week, I made mention about a Rage Against the Machine reunion rumor that was floating around. Well, on Monday, they announced uh, in October there's going to be a live DVD coming from Rage from a performance they did in 2010. Uh, I don't know if this is a situation where they're just going back to the cash cow to kind of milk it, or if maybe this will be the lead up to possibly a reunion and a new album, as was rumored last week, next year. We'll just wait and see. Well, first it was Jared from Subway, and now it seems that somebody inside of Gene Simmons' house likes the kitty porn, too. I guess uh, the police raided the serv served a warrant. Excuse me, they didn't raid. They served a warrant. The Simmons family was very cooperative. Uh, according to what the, the LAPD is saying, um, nobody in the Simmons' house is a suspect. They've been cooperating very much. So I don't know if they had a guest staying there or somebody. Uh, this is literally like breaking news as it unfolds. I'll make sure to keep you in the loop. Well, this is sort of a two stories in one deal. Miles Kennedy, frontman for Alter Bridge, also fronts with uh, Slash and the rest of the conspirators, has finally finished the touches on his solo album. Uh, no word on when that's going to be released. His bandmate from Alter Bridge, Tremonti, uh, says that uh, looking to have a new Alter Bridge album in 2016. Also was asked if he had seen Scott Stapp, his former frontman for Creed, or I should say still his frontman, even though they're kind of on a break. He said, yeah, we ran into him in Vegas. We talked for about an hour and a half. Uh, he's doing really, really good. He seems happy. He was clean. He was sober. His family seemed happy. As of right now, though, there is no plans for any sort of Creed reunion. Tremonti saying he's just way too busy with his solo project and working on new Alter Bridge. And it's time to close out your weekly rock windup with the new music announcements. There is obviously a ton today. You've got Disturbed's new album that's out, Immortalized. You've also got Pop Evil with Up, uh, P.O.D. The Awakening, and Buck Cherry with Rock and Roll. Not to mention, we finally have got Faith No More's Soul Invictus on vinyl. Uh, Butcher Babies have dropped a new album today as well. Their sophomore, Take It Like a Man, uh, body of work. Uh, Ghost. Mel Meliora, a lot of people dig it on the ghost. They drop a new album today as well. Uh, what's uh, coming down the pike, as they say? Uh, a great documentary. I put up a, uh, um, a uh, the trailer for it on my blog a couple days ago. Mission to Lars. Uh, this is going to roll out in uh, September. Basically, just give you a quick backstory. Uh, there's a man who has special needs. He's autistic. He has a brother and sister that are trying to help him fulfill his dream of meeting Lars because his favorite band is Metallica. His favorite performer is Lars. And it really does look like a very touching documentary. I'm looking forward to it myself. Uh, Skindred's Rude Boys for Life film to be included as a bonus DVD with the volume album that will be coming out in October the 30th via Napalm Records. Uh, Escape the Fate rolled out a new music video this week for Just a Memory. They're going to drop their new album, Hate Me, also on the 30th of October. Uh, what else? Uh, Deftones, Gino Marino is saying that they're going to look for maybe a November 20th Street date for their new album. And this one I stumbled on, and I don't know if it's been out for a while, but Fear! The band Fear, punk, iconic band Fear. Uh, more beer, 30th anniversary, two times, L two LP uh, vinyl set. Going to be out just 500 copies. That's it, limited edition press. Uh, you can start, uh, a release date looking at October, so you can start doing that pre-order thing if you're down with that. I think I'm probably going to pick it up because I'm a vinyl nerd. So I'm Nivens. Uh, have a great weekend. Do whatever, whatever it is you do. If you're going to the food tonight, I'll see you there. And... Uh, this is usually where we have the funny moments, uh, little outtakes, but this is my man Derek right here. He's been filming for quite some time. This is his last day here working. He's moving on. Bigger and better things. And this is customary. I did this for Kevin, too. Uh, we got to have a beer. It's, it's uh, Since the company didn't pay for it, the, the, uh, the, the beer company, I'm not going to tell you who it is, but it's <laughs> nice, cheap, and cheap. So, cheers. cheers, sir. Thank you for all your hard work. Thank you. Jesus, you're like a professional, man. Uh, uh, are, you, are you done? You still got some left in there. There's some. Okay. There's some in there. Have a great weekend. Peace.